rationalize the denominator, and simplify the following radical expressions. So we have the square root of 7 over 6. Well, if we use our quotient property, I can rewrite that as the square root of 7 over the square root of 6. Now, neither of those simplify, but for reasons, for, for a reason involving calculations in, in the past, mathematicians do not like de, uh, radicals remaining in the denominator of a fraction. So there's a technique called rationalizing the denominator. Now, if it's a square root in the denominator, it's not too difficult. What we will do is we'll multiply by that same radical in the denominator. And we'd have to multiply by the same thing in the numerator, right, to keep the fraction equivalent. So then that would give me the square root of 7 times 6 is 42. And in the denominator, square root of 6 times the square root of 6 is the square root of 36. And so that would give me the square root of 42 over 6. Now we should check that square root of 42 and see if we can simplify it at all. But 42 does not contain any square factors, so we are done. We have rationalized the denominator. The denominator, 6, is now a rational number, whereas the square root of 6 is irrational. Exercise B. Square root of 3a over the square root of 5b. And we'll use the same idea. Square root of 5b in the denominator, multiply by it in both numerator and denominator. That would give me equivalently the square root of 15ab over the square root of 25b squared. The square root of 15ab cannot be simplified any further, and the square root of 25b squared is 5b. Seven times the square root of 10x divided by three times the square root of 2y. All right, so the irrational part of the denominator is that square root of 2y. So I'm going to multiply by it. I don't need to multiply by the three. So that would give me in the numerator seven times the square root of 20xy and in the denominator, I would have 3 times the square root of 4y squared. Now let's be a little bit careful here. That 20, that 20 is 4 times 5. So I would have 7 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 5xy. And in the denominator, I have 3 times the square root of 4, which is 2 and the square root of y squared is y. So that gives me 7 times 2 times the square root of 5xy over 6y. Well, actually, if I just leave that denominator as 3 times 2y, it becomes clear that I can remove that common factor of 2, leaving 7 by the square root of 5xy over 3y.